Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I own the Water East Store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about repairs and maintenance of an Aquamaster or Water Boss High Efficiency Water Softener. These are extremely reliable units, but occasionally you might get some dirt in the injector, and that's what we're talking about today, how to clean and or replace the injector in one of these high efficiency water softeners. Now, I should mention we offer discount pricing on the Water Boss water softeners. We also offer free shipping in Canada. Click the link up here, it'll take you right to our website, you can check it out there. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the lid. And to do that, you put your hands in the, in the hole at the back, you kind of lift it and spread it a little bit, and the whole top pops right off. So on the water boss, we're going to want to take it out of service and put it into bypass, and then we're going to start a regeneration cycle. So again, we push the, the R with an arrow up button, hold it down for about five seconds, and it'll start on a cycle, and that'll release the pressure in the whole system so we can get at this injector. I should mention the procedure is basically the same, whether it's a water boss or an Aquamaster, but where it differs, I'll show the differences throughout the video. And if you're looking to buy a replacement injector for either of these units, just click the link down below. It's the same injector that works on both of them, but in the description of this video, I've got a link that'll take you, take you right to our e-commerce store so you can purchase that replacement injector. A clean injector is critical uh, for a water softener to work properly. So the injector is inside here and what that does, that creates the suction to draw the brine from the brine tank into the media tank for the water softener to regenerate. If that hole becomes clogged, it's not going to happen. So first thing we have to do is um, take the water softener out of service and move it over into bypass. Second thing we need to do is push the regen button and uh, start it on a, a regen cycle. So you just need to hold down the button for about five seconds and it will start that cycle. It will release all the water pressure that's inside here. Once we've done that, then we can remove the injector cap by loosening that up and unscrew that. Now inside the cap, you'll see an O-ring, so just be careful you don't drop it inside the, the brine tank when you pull that out. So you just set that aside. And then inside you'll see the uh, injector and it has a little rib on the left hand side at the nine clock position so you can pull that out. So when you pull that out um, in the injector nozzle you'll see there's a hole in the middle so just make sure that you can insert a wooden toothpick like this one. Um, inside to clean that out. Now don't use a, a paper clip, a metal paper clip or any kind of uh, metal drill or anything like that because you may um, change the size of that hole and, or you may um, elongate the hole. So once we've cleaned that we can set that aside. So then the injector throat is inside here and uh, there's a hole in the middle so again you need to put that wooden toothpick in there to clean out that hole, clean out the debris. Now if you can't get that toothpick inside there to clean out that debris, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to replace the throat. You can use a wood screw like this one or you can use a drywall screw and then all you're going to do is you're going to thread it into the throat until it catches. Once it catches then you can just use that to pull out the throat and you'd have to throw it away at this point because once you've removed it, so then you'd grab the new throat you push it inside and then push it all the way in so it's flush and then you'd, you'd have cleaned the injector nozzle by now. You can use CLR or something like that to uh, clean it up and then this rib here has to go at the 9 o'clock position. Put that in there and then you put the cap back on, make sure the o-ring's inside and uh, you can tighten that up. So it needs to be a little bit more than hand tight for it to be, uh, create a watertight seal, but you don't have to tighten it much more than that. So you can use your pliers, tighten it up, like that, great. Once you finish doing that, then you could press the regen button, get it back to its home position. Once you get it back to its home position, then you can open up the bypass, check for leaks, and you're done. And then with the water boss, to put it back into service, you'll advance it through the cycles and you'll do that by pushing the R up button, but you can only push it once the cycle has completed. In other words, when you hear that the motor has stopped turning. Once it stopped turning, then you can push the button to advance it to each of the cycles. And uh, you can also put it back into service by turning this to the service. 
as opposed to into bypass. So we'll advance it again. And when the motor stopped humming or turning, you can advance it again and again. So now it says HO, so it's going to the home position. Once it gets into the home position, then you can push this R up button, hold it down for five seconds, and that'll regenerate the water softener and you'll have soft water again. To replace the lid, all you do is you line up the front, press it back, make sure the, the cord at the back isn't pinched, and press it back down. And that's it. If you like what we saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way we'll be notified of all the new videos that become available on this channel. I'd also really appreciate it if you could share this video with your Facebook friends. For more information, you can go to our websites, either thewatereastore.com or thewaterestoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.